Hi, it's for Marie. I'm back. Okay, so I have the measurements for you. The length is about nine and one fourth inches, and the width is about uh, five and three fourths. About five and three fourths. So it's a good size tag. I've decided to ink the edges with Memento's London Fog. I like that it's not. The black would be too harsh. It gives it a nice, soft, inked edge, and it looks pretty uh, against the silhouette. And the next thing after I ink, I'm going to kind of lay out and explore the doilies and see what I can do with them. It's kind of hard to videotape and pull these out with the one hand, but oh my gosh, they're such pretty doilies. And I love this vendor because she washes. Everything smells so soapy clean. This one would be hard to cut. It's such a pretty little, uh, little mini place mat for a teapot and a teacup. So, oh gosh, it's so hard to cut these. But, I mean, if you wanted to feature some of the flowers, you've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, this is one option. There's just lots of different ways I can go about um, layering this tag. This one's kind of cool. Uh, it's stiff. And I'm not totally crazy about it as far as using it for personal use. Sorry, it's it's stiff. But this one might might work. Um, maybe cutting the edging and using it for part of the dress, the wedding dress even. Um, or some it would it would stay and I think glue nicely. So this definitely could be an option. Let's see what else I have. There's a total of five in this package. This one is pretty. Oh, wow. I like the shape of this. So this might be one. This is uniquely shaped. So I don't know that I would cut this because it's almost like a marquee cut in a diamond. Uh, it's really different. So I would probably save this one. It's very dainty and soft. So let's look at the next one. This is a very open a crocheted pattern, I guess you could call it. Uh, this is also pretty and uh, it would l be a really pretty webbed effect. Um, I don't know, it might be difficult to, I think I might have to do kind of a, a layer of a thin glue to get this to adhere, but it's pretty you would be able to see the patterns through this one. And then finally a thicker crocheted doily which would really cover up the paper pattern so I probably um, am eliminating this one right now because it, it just, I feel, and there's, there's a stain which you can hide with flowers but not so sure this one would work. So just kind of brainstorming again.